I don't know why, but Canberra often gets a bit of a bum rap as being uh, a boring holiday destination. Well, I'm here to prove that point wrong. Not only does it have some of the most iconic national attractions, but outside of that, around the Canberra region and in the city itself, there is so much more on offer. I'll show you. I've never really known anyone to talk up the fact that they're really good at smoking until I met Kate here at Poacher's Pantry. What's the go with talking up smoking? We're talking about smoked meat, Scott. Smoked of course, meat. we're talking about smoked meats. What else would we be talking about? I, I knew that, I knew that. Poacher's Pantry, it's a beautiful, beautiful spot you've got here. We're only about half an hour out of Canberra. Yeah, that's Which is right. nothing, and you're in the beautiful countryside. Your mum and dad, Robert yep. and Susan, started it? Yep. What was the whole plan with this place? So mum and dad um, had this farm here and they were trying to work out how to make the most out of living on a farm that's yeah. actually not that big. So um, they came up with the idea of smoked meats. Mum's got a brother that's a chef um, from England. Right. And um, yeah, they knew that there was a bit of a market for smoked meats and charcuterie kind of boards yeah. and things like that. Yep. So they played with that, got a smokehouse from the old CIT yeah. in Canberra. Yeah and um, realised that they were kind of good at it. <laughs> that's Seriously, a bonus, that's yeah. a bonus, and that's why they're talking up the fact that they're great that's smokers. Right. And it's all done here. All done here, yeah. That's so we special started too. in 91, yep. so almost 23 years yeah, now, yeah. 24 years. Yep. Um, yeah, so just started off smoking meats for the um, food service sector, um, and then kind of went into the retail sector as well. In uh, 98, we popped a vineyard in, and so when we had the vineyard and the meat going, we thought, what better way to showcase it than in a cafe? Of course. So that's why we've got this here today. Just open for lunch? Yep, open for lunch, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, yep. and brunch on Saturday and Sundays as well. And of course, there's the tasting, the matching, yep. the Wiley Trout wines yep. with the, Match the, to the, the meats, meats yeah. which is cool. And it's all local produce? All local produce, yeah. So um, all the meats are Australian um, sourced, all, all from here. Um, and then the other wines are all grown here on the property. A local winemaker makes them for us. So Nick Spencer down at Eden Road Wines, just down the road, makes it for us. Yep. We get it back. And then, yeah, showcase it here. Well, you can't get better than that. And, and as I said, beautiful setting. So people don't drive past outside of Canberra, don't go, come here on your way in or on your way out, say hello to Kate and the team and enjoy. <laughs> the Peppers brand, it's synonymous with superior class and style and it's no different right here at Peppers Gallery Hotel. Situated in the new Acton Precinct, the precinct itself, it's a buzz, it's all about entertainment, dining and arts. The other great thing about this hotel, besides everything it offers you, is the fact that it's situated right in the heart of Canberra. So everything that's great about Canberra, it's a stone throw away. Definitely one of the coolest, newest places in the whole of Canberra is right here in Braddon. It's called the Bent Spoke Brewing Company. It's the brainchild of Tracy, this man's partner, and of course this man himself, Richard Watkins. How are you, hey, champ? Good, and yourself? I'm fantastic. I'm all excited to be here and have all these great brews in front of me and some good looking food too. Tell us about the experience, the whole experience about Ben Spoke. Oh, Ben Spokes, it's all about the beers and the bikes. Um, Trace and I like riding bikes and I like making bent beers and we do a bit of bit of different thing with the beers and the food and you come in and, and have something a bit different and watch us make the beer and watch us crush the apples and... What do you mean bent beers? Oh, you know, I like to push the boundaries. You, you, you sort of experiment and you, you take things to a different level. Yeah, we do. So we, we've taken a pale ale. You want to have a taste of this one? Sure. It's got I a little, little bit of oregano in it. That's bent? Yeah. Adds that sort of um, earthy element to it. A little bit of savouriness about it. That's quite nice though. It's quite very nice. Oh, that is different. That's, that's good though, eh? Mm. Tell us about the, the combination, because you're combining a bit of the brewing techniques with your food. That's right. So we're just taking the ingredients from the from making beer and the ingredients from obviously cider in the apples and infusing our food with those um, you know those ingredients. So we've got some beautiful um, chicken wings that have been crusted in the grain okay. to add that real crunch to the um, textural element to the to the wings. Yep. The pork well. pies have got something going on with them. The pork pies. We um, we we give our the local bakery around the corner some um, some of our cider and they come back and make these beautiful pork pies for our ploughman's platter here. Nice. You've got takeaway here. 
What do. is that all about? Yeah, How do you we... get a takeaway beer at a brewery? Here we go. I've got a present for you to take with you. What is this? A mini keg? Yeah, two litre ret- refillable flask. It's like a mini keg, a Ben Spoke Brewing Company mini keg. I love that. So what? You can fill it up, take it home. Yeah, two litre re- uh, reusable flask. I love that, mate. That's gold. Well, silver, but it's gold. Gold. <laughs> love it. Love it. All right, what's next here? Not only is the accommodation at Pepper's top shelf, but the in-house bar and restaurant is a temptation you just have to give in to. Authentic Italian cuisine is always at its best when it's created with fresh seasonal produce. And usually that's when it's sourced locally as well. That certainly is the case here at Bicicletta restaurant. Raj's passion to make the finest Italian food, well, I'm putting him under the pump. I'm certainly gonna try it out. Looking good, mate, looking good. I've been watching takeaway pizzas walk out the door here by the dozen, so I had to order one of them. They're obviously a bit hit with the locals. I also was talked into having the crispy, oh, the crispy pork belly. Pizza, crispy pork belly for you. Oh, grazie, grazie. And the proof is always in the pudding. Have a go at that, my friends. Oh yes, this is a meal fit for a king. That is me. Oh yeah. When's a great time to visit Canberra? Well, right now. Head to visitcanberra.com.au for all the information you need for a great time.